One out of four Oklahoma students does not have reliable internet access at home. And with distance learning becoming the norm, that's a big problem. But as ONR's Rory Taylor reports, help is on the way, thanks to a much needed federal grant. A lot of our students uh, have internet capabilities, but they don't have the uh, bandwidth that they need. As anyone who's driven through the panhandle can tell you, the reception and internet get a little spotty. Roughly 79% of the state has broadband internet, but the bulk of that is in urban areas. We knew that we were going to have a need for some additional uh, connectivity for our students when the new year came around, regardless of what we do uh, one way or another. And, you know, it was something that was a big need for our district, and, and we were able to accomplish that task and receive some hotspots from the state. Roughly 200 hotspots are being sent to the Woodward School District, representing a portion of a grant awarded to the State Department of Education for 50,000 Verizon Jetpack devices. Joy Hoffmeister is the state superintendent as well as the chair of the OETA board. We have uh, purchased those devices that then can be placed in a home and the district is providing the monthly service fee at a deeply discounted rate and that is going to last throughout the remainder of you know the entire school year or as long as there is a national emergency uh, we also have other hotspots uh, that can be um, purchased by the district at this very competitive state rate the grant and additional devices are paid for using the emergency funds provided by the CARES Act. Superintendent Hoffmeister says the devices are vital for providing equal opportunity for students. We want our families of children going to public school to have access to internet at home. This is part of giving them the same equitable opportunity and services that are provided to other families who do have connectivity. So for us, it's about equity, but it's also about providing a competitive public education. But internet connectivity isn't only a rural problem. We are on the northeast side of Oklahoma City and our student population is basically pretty close to 100% free and reduced lunch and we have about 450 students and so when we had to on a dime go to remote learning in the spring we noticed that the majority of our students were not able to access the online resources that the district provided. Michelle Lewis is the principal of Thelma Parks Elementary in the Oklahoma City Public Schools District. OKCPS has 7,500 hotspots that will be distributed according to enrollment. It will go smoother if we can get kids enrolled. What that's going to allow us to do is, at my school at least, we've already kind of got the teachers for the upcoming school year reaching out to the kids that are going to be assigned to them so they can build that relationship. The parents can feel comfortable on day one asking for help if they're having technological issues. Um, it allows us to make sure that the device and the hotspot, if necessary, actually gets deployed to them before the first day of school on August 31st. While many schools are planning in-person instruction for the coming year, remote options are needed for students that may have to quarantine or for families who feel it safer to learn from home. Because COVID come around, we more and more parents are afraid of the children coming back into the school environment, where lots of parents, they just want their kids back in the school environment. If Woodward County uh, goes to another caution level, then we are going to uh, go to a, a what we call an AB schedule. Half our students will be on campus and half our students will be learning uh, through distance learning at home and those will alternate. So there's a good possibility that we may have a, a significant portion of our students uh, working remotely. And it's important to educators that parents are aware this fall's remote learning will not be the same as last spring's. We are just really excited about the product that we're going to be putting out through remote learning once we start back up in August. It's, it's going to be vastly improved from what we had in the spring because we have the devices and the hot spots and we have been working all summer to make this really effective and meaningful instruction for our students. Uh, we have a program called Odyssey where that we'll use as our main tool for 
uh, virtual learning. That's It's a pretty powerful program. We're just changing the way we're doing business. Even with the 50,000 grant devices, a lot of work is left to be done. We know that over 100,000 students do not have the connectivity we need based on surveys we have done recently with our districts. So this gets us halfway, uh, but we also have additional resources that districts can tap into and use federal funds that they've received uh, to help with that connectivity. With the hotspots that we're getting, and the, um, the cost that we will have to pay for those for an unlimited data plan, we would be fisc fiscally irresponsible if we didn't take advantage of it. Rory Taylor, The Oklahoma News Report.